What's going on, everyone? It's time to talk about the final werewolf movie of the Wolfman collection out of the Universal Monsters Legacy collection, the big box that I've been working on. And uh, yeah, so we've done all the done all the Dracula films, we've done all the Frankenstein films, and now this is the last one of the Wolfman films, and we'll be going into something another classic monster after this but uh i'll talk about that near the end so stay tuned for that but yeah she wolf of london is what we'll be talking about today she used by universal april 25th 1946 it was written by george bricker produced by ben piver and directed by gene uh tarborough who's also done like the devil bat uh, they have a Stella show, King of the Zombies. I've talked about that one on here. I might have talked about the Devil Bat too, but I can't remember. And Jack and the Bean, the original Jack and the Beanstalk. Um, yeah, so he's quite the. Well, sorry, this is more of a a murder mystery type film than a horror film. This is more of like a thriller movie with a little bit of creature feature aspects thrown in to make it a little more spice it up a bit so there is this young woman who college woman who is basically uh trying to find her life where she's attacked by a creature and um yeah she doesn't know what to do or and she's always very fatigued and um yeah and then all these weird murders around in her town uh start happening and she thinks she might be a part of them somehow but she's not sure why and it's up to her and her friend and family to figure out what's actually going on is she a creature like a werewolf attacking people or is it a modern killer that's what you're trying to figure out in this film so yeah it's a good little setup that they have with this one um a lot of the characters are pretty well fleshed out and stuff especially for these for at least for 1946 uh they are really uh amusing characters <laughs> help oh, in this film you have your tropes of people believing and not believing and all that fun stuff and uh yeah for most of it they don't really show you uh, um the girl transforming into a wolf this is more done in, they leave that for your own imagination but they definitely give you enough information to lead you on if she is or if she isn't and also this is a good film that showcases like mental illness like the earlier film of the earlier 1940s films focusing on more of the mental illness aspect and other scientific aspects that could disprove the werewolf theory and uh that was really cool and very brazen in uh film in this time period in 1946 uh you don't see that very often and it's definitely uh more interesting when they get into that type of stuff but it kind of drags quite a bit <laughs> for it um you hear about the murders you see the aftermath but then it's just like it's more like who a uh, who done it and it's just fizzles out into typical horror tropes where uh, they try to be sneaky and stuff, but you can see it coming from a mile away. And that, that's the sad thing that happens with this one. And obviously, you don't get the full werewolf effect. Because they don't really fully show it. And they leave it more for you to imagine it. So, um, that's usually that was a pretty big downer from this one. I found this one pacing to be pretty sluggish. It was pretty slow and it continued to go on for... A long period of time even though it's only an hour and five minutes long or something like that it still took a while to get through so yeah besides the pacing and the lack of werewolf in the story it was still an interesting little whodunit murder mystery type film i think they're just trying to capitalize on the werewolf monster craze of the 40s when they put this one out so uh, this came out probably near the tail end of that, so um, obviously I wasn't expecting anything much, and of course it wasn't anything much. It's an okay movie, it's just definitely have to watch a whole pile of good werewolf movies and werewolf fighting Frankenstein and stuff to watch something this mundane and stale. It was kind of a disappointment, so... Yeah, I'm going to give She-Wolf of London a 2.5 out of 5. There's nothing really wrong with it. It's just I wanted more werewolves, a little more interesting plot developments, and uh, 
yeah, just the pacing was really sluggish and stuff in this one. And it, it's not the best. This is probably like the lowest rated film I've reviewed out of all the monster movies I've talked about from the classic Universal era. And uh, yeah, I can see why. But you're going to have some of those in this in these crazy uh, monster franchises. So yeah, She-Wolf of London was a little bit of a drag. Not as interesting cool and they could have taken it way more crazy and entertaining wise you could have taken it to a whole new level but they played it safe and played it the standard mystery whodunit murder mystery whodunit thriller type of way than the usual monster movie horror film so yeah just something a little different a little off-putting at first but once you get into it it's not that bad so yeah i'm gonna give she wolf of london a two and a half out of five trailers linked down below like always if you want to check that out also link down below is my instagram where i always post clips of films i'm going to in the future all my stories you have the film title hashtag and subject of film and hashtag so you're aware of it also link down below is my letterbox at derek p reviews that's where i post my first story rating right after watching the films so yeah follow me on one of those two uh, platforms to stay in the loop with this channel. Like this video, share it so more people are aware of it. Comment your opinions of the film down below if you've seen it. Let me know your thoughts. Also, let me know what your favorite Wolfman film is if you have one of the classic Universal monster films. And uh, and also let me know what your favorite classic Universal monster film is if you have one as well. And uh, yeah, but that's it for this one. Make sure you subscribe or we can find something weird, obscure, and odd, somewhat like this, or together, or so you can hear my opinions on popular films and even classic films like this one as well <laughs> um yeah so make sure you subscribe and uh yeah that's it for this one um that's it for the werewolf films from the classic universal lineup i think it's time to jump into something a little more odd i'm feeling more like the mummy maybe yeah we'll be jumping into the mummy the classic the mummy in the next review so make sure you ring that bell and uh stay tuned for that one but for now watch out for all those women going crazy and uh turning into killer beasts and i guess i'll see you all in the next review hopefully so till then cheers